Welcome to Friends at Gameology, hosted by MoonlightCrew.com. Reviews for science. In seven minutes or less. Quirkle. Quirkle is a tile placement game. Uh, if you see this here, it's a little bit like Scrabble, um, where you place out your tiles and get points for how many you placed in a row, and you can get double points if you connect to an existing row. A Quirkle uh, is where you have six of one color, but all different shapes or six of one shape, but all different colors in a row. And for that, you score double the normal amount of points. It's Plus six, six so you, yeah, so you get 12 for that. Um, and then whatever else you've intersected with. And that's the game. Simplicity versus complexity. <laughs> um, this game is uh, simple, simple to play. Um, you have to play all of the same, like everything you play, you can play more than one tile, but everything you play has to match in at least one thing. So like all the same color here or all the same symbol, right? And then you have to be able to place it in a legal spot. Um, there can only be one of each thing in a, in a row. And um, so that those are the rules, but um, getting the most possible points is, I know, I would still say it's simple. Um, yeah, I'd say it's pretty simple. It's not, it's not complex. This game is very simple, but in spite of that, every time we play, we generally have somebody, sometimes me, say, wait, can I do this? It's just a little bit of a, a spatial difference when you look at it. You're like, oh, no, 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 those don't line up. I, I can only play all of the same color or all the same shapes. But you get confused and you start playing. But usually it's corrected pretty quickly. This is a pretty simple game. Luck versus strategy? <laughs> Sorry, Thomas was asked. That's why we're super confused. Um, I forgot. Uh, I think there is a ton of luck in this game. Uh, I think, yeah, there's strategy, and can you maximize what you draw out of the bag? For sure. Um, much like Scrabble, can you maximize what, what you're given um, and find the best spot for it on the board? But it's tons of luck, because maximizing a one thing, like if I, um, we just needed this one last to get this corkle, and I happen to have it, well, there you go. I just got 12 points by placing that one tile. So, I mean, that was super luck, and that happened in the last game we just played too many times, um, and it happens in every single game we play. And so there is tons of luck when it comes to the placement of, and getting quirkles. This game has its strategy, and it helps mitigate the luck by being able to put tiles aside and draw new ones, and that can be your turn, so you can try to get different tiles than the ones that if you're having a hard time placing them, or they give you low points. Uh, and of course the strategy is, do you leave an open position for somebody else to get a quirkle, or do you purposely cut it off so that will never happen? But for me, it is just so much luck. Uh, you look at it and you're like, well, I pretty much know whoever has the blue square, whoever draws it, is going to get a quirkle. I don't know who's going to draw it. Nope, not me. Oh, it looks like it was Molly. She gets the quirkle now. And it's just like, you couldn't have you couldn't have made that any less lucky. So there's a lot of random chance to this game. Fun versus boring. I find this game to be dreadfully boring. I don't find it to be fun at all. I played several times over the years. This is not a new game, and I just, I don't understand it. Like, I think people like it from what I, what I get, and it won some awards, but man, I don't, it's just, because of the luck factor, I mean, yeah, you can, like I said, there's the strategy to try to, like, not leave open quirkles or whatever, but that luck factor just kills this game for me, just sinks it, because we can all just look at the board and know the state and say, okay, I mean, green circle, whoever gets the green circle is going to get a quirkle. Yep, there you go, it's 12 more points, and it's, it's just, uh, it doesn't seem very competitive to me. Um, it may be better for children. I don't know yet. Our daughter's too young to play this with for the most part. And when she gets older, I don't really plan on playing with her because I don't like this game. Um, I, I, I agree with the luck factor kind of taking, um, <clears throat> making it less of a, a fun game for me. I, I wish that if you got a quirkle that you got like two or three extra points, not six. It seems like by placing one tile, I shouldn't just double my points automatically. Um, that being said, I, I do think this is a very good game to learn shapes and colors. Um, and so I don't, know, I don't know much about child development, so I don't know when they can start actually playing this and, and doing that. But I think that little, little kids, I, I would play with, with my daughter so that she could learn these colors, <clears throat> colors and shapes and recognizing similarities. Um, and so I think it's really good for that. Plus, uh, as an adult, it's, I find it relaxing to play. Um, I find it like, yeah, I'm going to try to place this piece. And no, it's not competitive, but if I know that going in, I mean, I'll, I'll, do, I'll try to do my best, but when I say it's not competitive, it's because of that luck factor. Like, oh, you got it before I did, one turn before I did because he placed it. So you got the extra quirkle twice in a row. But I, I do find it relaxing. So I think I, I don't find it boring. I find it relaxing. So. 
my BGG rating would probably be six or seven. Wow. Six. I say six. I think I'd probably go like a three. I probably, in, when I'm playing it, I feel like it's a two, but looking at it objectively, <laughs> I think it's a three. I just, I find value in it. I find value in what it, what it, what it, what it is. I find three worth of value in it. I find six. Double that. Every time we hit multiples of 500 subscribers on YouTube, we give away a free glitter painting of your favorite geeky thing. So make sure to subscribe now. Could be you that wins. Corkle, we've presented the evidence. You be the judge.